Okay, the Bible says that Jesus said that the kingdom of God is within us. So in the Bible, in the Old Testament, it says that Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord. So you have Jacob in the flesh wrestling with the angel of the Lord in the spirit. And the key part to this is the clue that God gives us to see this mystery is that the name of the place that they wrestled at was Peniel. Now this is the key right here. This is the clue that God has left us in the word of God to show us a great mystery. Do you know what the pineal gland is? The pineal gland is the gland in the center of your brain, also known as the third eye. And in Hinduism, or excuse me, in, in the Indian culture, they put a dot. And in Catholicism, on Ash Wednesday, they put a cross. Okay, they put that little ash cross on your forehead. And that's showing you representing your pineal gland, your third eye. And the pineal gland is also represented in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. I think a lot of us have seen it, the eye, sideways eye, right? And it kind of curls like this. And you have the eye in the center and like this. It's like an Egyptian eye almost. Well, that's representative of the third eye, the pineal gland. And it's a literal thing in the center of your brain. And it's interesting that the mark of the beast, one of the places that it's going to be, be on people, is in their forehead. So this pineal gland is responsible for our spiritual connection with God. When we see people get visions and when we have dreams, the pineal gland is responsible for it. So going back to Jacob wrestling with the angel of the Lord at pineal, this is showing us a story that is representative of us wrestling with the spiritual realm through our pineal gland. And this is shown to us in Ephesians 6.12. Everybody knows Ephesians 6.12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. See the key word, the connections that the Bible uses? Wrestling. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Well, that's what this story is showing us in real time. Is that when Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross, there were two other men crucified next to him. <clears throat> and we all know the story pretty much. That one repented and one did not. So in, in essence you have one good and one bad guy on the side of Christ. And then you have Christ in the center. Now <clears throat> we are told to have the mind of Christ. Think about that. The mind of Christ. Think about the pineal gland in the center of the brain. Uh, the forehead. Right representative of the forehead going back into the center of the mind. So we're supposed to have the mind of Christ. Well, when we go to the story of Jesus being crucified next to the two guys, uh, in the center of the two guys, that's the key, in the center, God is showing us something just like he showed us with the story of Jacob wrestling with the angel of the Lord at Peniel. You have the guy who repented, which is the good side, and the guy who didn't repent, which is the bad side, almost like the... The good angel and the bad, the devil on your shoulder like they show us in the cartoons, right? We all have that fallen nature, the good and the bad. But then in the center you have the perfection, the mind of Christ, right? Representative of what? Now what is that? Well, the two guys, you have two temples on the sides of your head. You see this? You have two temples, two temples. And in the center you have your pineal gland, where the mind of Christ, where you are connected in the spiritual realm. You see this connection here? That's why they put the ash on the foreheads of the Catholics, the, the cross, right in the center in the forehead. We should see something else to verify this. And the verification is this, is that where Jesus Christ 
was crucified along with the two other guys was named get this the place of the skull think about it the place of the skull well there it is you put the skull it's called Golgotha that we are supposed to have the mind of Christ he was crucified in the center representative of our pineal gland where we wrestle with angels and principalities and powers, wicked angels, and it's right in the center. They do it in Catholicism. They put the ash cross on their forehead, and where he was crucified, it's called the place of the skull. Well, if you put a skull around it, there you have it. You have Christ in the center, right where your pineal gland is, and you have your two temples on the sides, just like the temples on the side of your head. The angel and the devil. The New Age takes stuff and they twist it and they use it for themselves. But God invented this, these things. And the New Age takes it and twists it, corrupts it. Satan said, I will be like the Most High. So he's going to take God's stuff and he's going to corrupt it. There's nothing coincidental. Every single thing in the Bible is named that for a reason, every single thing in the Bible is numbered, these certain numbers for a reason. And this is why that place is called the place of the skull. The kingdom of God is within you. He's showing us through these stories that play out in real time, the kingdom of God within us.